So she talked with them about scenarios. And also they ran uh, several re uh, trials, rehearsals. Okay. Not really to uh, plan scenarios mm. in advance. Just to have a feel of what it is like. Okay. What That's kind of role? Yeah. What kind of role? What's that? Mm. Um, and her students um, liked scenarios and enjoyed. Them. They were willing to participate. Mm. Um, so that's that's really helped me, you know, clarify and mm. say, okay, this did, did not work because I should have explained what scenarios were. Yeah. And ever since that time. Um, I've been actively searching opportunities to, to talk to colleagues and work mm. with them to figure out what to do because I, I really understood uh, the benefits okay. of this. So the sharing with colleagues, does this, does this include cascading? Yes, yes. Cascading mm. is a, a, includes various formats of sharing with colleagues, not only running professional mm. development events. Starting a cascade is not always smooth. So mm. up, when I became more experienced, I started uh, yeah. cascading, um, and I realized that teachers are not uh, always uh, willing to share ideas. They are simply because they are not used to it. Sometimes yeah. uh, they're not used to discussing problems uh, with colleagues. Um, um, they're not used to uh, search for mm. pro uh, solutions. Okay. On, uh, with, with others and this is understandable mm. for many years uh, teachers were responsible for their class only mm. um, and they, they rarely interacted with others well times have changed uh, and one of the most powerful way of introducing and disseminating innovations in, in education mm. is through teacher collaboration and cascading is I think ideal for spreading good ideas about teaching. Okay, do you have any tips for, for how teachers can get started with cascading? Yes, I can share some tips that may help uh, course participants um, start a cascade in the teaching context. They help me at least. Mm -hmm. So my first tip would be start small. Uh, finding only one colleague is more than enough. Yeah. Only one interested person. Uh, if I have one uh, apple and you have one apple mm -hmm. to get, and you, we exchange apples, so yeah. then we have one apple each. Yeah, but it's much harder to bring an apple for everybody right. Everybody you yeah. work with. But if I have an idea and then you mm -hmm. have an idea, we have two ideas together. Okay. So that's that's different. Okay, wonderful. So um, find find a person. Mm. How, to, to, how to find a person? Mm. Well, there are several approaches, several techniques that you uh, might want to start or try. This worked for me approach. You remember that my colleague did not tell me, you should do this. Yeah. She said, this worked for me. Mm -hmm. So the teachers don't like hearing well, you. You should do that, you should do this. But they might be interested in listening to what happened in your class. Mm -hmm. So a way of sharing would be to to try out first try out something in your class yeah. something for the course participants try out something um, that you learned in this course mm. and then approach a colleague and say well this is something that worked for me okay so that's, that's, that, yes. that seems simple and doable it's simple and doable mm. Mm. Uh, number two could be do you think this may work okay this course contains a lot of uh, teaching ideas and I'm sure the participants won't have time to try them out at the same time. No. Uh, but um, you may want to pick up an activity that you think that you may use sometime um, in the semester and show it to your colleague um, and invite him or her to tell you what they think about it. Okay. Um, they, they love discussing, teachers love discussing how to modify activities to meet their students' needs. It activates their creativity and you're starting sure. a conversation. Yes, yeah. yes. That's, that's it. And uh, the that's third possible technique would mm. be, um, I'm struggling with this. Do you think that these activities might help? Mm -hmm. so, um, well, while I'm 
I, w I always evaluate activities or at the back of my mind I think okay what is it that my students are struggling with w w would this help mm -hmm. so uh, just my tip would be pick a problem that you know that several teachers share or, or a puzzle um, and maybe select two or three activities that you think uh, may address this problem okay. and approach a colleague mm -hmm. or several colleagues and say uh, we all have this problem mm. um, our students don't want to communicate do you think that maybe these activities would help them mm. express their views more willingly mm -hmm. something like that and then again together you look at these activities and maybe decide which one would suit a particular group of students best okay that sounds all of that advice sounds very very reasonable um, thank you for your time today. Thank you, Andy, for your questions. Absolutely.